So a bike that doesn't shift can be one of the most frustrating experiences and it's terrible for your knees. You'll see I'm pedaling and I'm just getting this kind of clicking noise and, uh, and it's just not shifting. And the thing about bikes is that they're actuated, most of them are actuated by these steel cables here and they stretch over time. And in fact, so much so that if you buy, especially a cheap bike from someplace like Walmart or something like that, um, the cheap cables can be put on absolutely perfectly and then you can take the bike and just sit it in a corner and a day or two later it actually won't shift right because the shifter has been under tension and it just stretches the cable and so all of a sudden you're loose and you're getting that click 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 noise so the process of dealing with that is the same on the front and the back now one thing I want to show you is that a lot of people, when they start adjusting these things, go right for these screws here. And in general, unless you're actually swapping out one of these parts, you don't want to change anything about these screws. So the way they work is the two screws determine how far this part, this part called the rear derailleur, is allowed to go left and right. And in general, that's not your problem if your cable is stretched. So by adjusting these screws you wind up allowing it to either not travel uh, far enough up or down or go too far and throw the chain off the one side or the other. And so there's a the procedure for it is very simple and so one of the things I'm going to show you here I'm going to try to get a good shot. So although some of this stuff looks like voodoo when you're shifting all you're actually doing is adding or removing tension from this cable, in this case for the back. So you'll see that as I pedal the bike and pull this, you'll see it jumps up to the top gear. Now one thing that's really important, I'm putting a good bit of tension on this and that chain is not going too far that direction because those screws are set properly. If you pull on this and it doesn't go all the way up to the top, then you might need to adjust those screws a little bit to allow in this case, your low gear to be a little bit um, looser, or the other direction, your high gear to be a little looser. So you'll see that when I drop this, it's just going to shift back in the gear that it was in. And so I can come down here through these gears, and I'm not able to get into the smallest gear right now, you can see, and that tells me that this cable is too loose. But if I were to pull on the cable, you can see it just nicely going through every gear. So I know a lot of this stuff looks like voodoo, but it's generally very simple. So we're gonna take a look at this. So most bikes are gonna have some kind of barrel adjuster here. You might have to adjust uh, a nut and make the cable tighter yourself. But in general, um, they're gonna have some kind of barrel adjuster. And if you think about it, as you twist this adjuster, you'll see there's a silver part in here. You'll watch that pull out. And as it pulls out, it's putting more tension on the, um, on the cable. So each of these is a little different depending on the orientation but what I try to do is I try to remember some kind of phrase like come at me bro or get away and so um, in this situation I'm gonna say come at me right and what that means is that when I turn this to the right you'll see it right away as I start to turn this to the right that gear is eventually gonna drop down into this closest gear. And by turning it to the right, I was able to, with no, I'm not shifted in any gear, I'm just as, as uh, loose as it can get, I was able to get into that closest one. So the key is, can I get into the closest one? And then now, can I still get into the furthest one if I pull on the cable? So you can see I have the entire range of motion, so that's good. There's no other adjustments needed to the screws. I can, I have my entire range of motion. So at this point, now that I have full range of motion, the main thing I'm concerned about is can I make it through the gears? And if I can't, am I having a problem where the chain seems to need to go that way or the chain seems to need to go this way? So we're gonna do a couple of shifts. I'm gonna go up a gear, a little bit of hesitation, but it went. We go up another one, perfect. Another one, perfect. Another one, perfect. And we're just cruising right through the gears. I actually adjusted it too well. So I'm all the way up. Now let's see if it comes back. It's okay, I was able to drop out of that one, drop out of that one, drop out of that one. And you can actually see I'm going pretty smoothly through the gears. It might 
hesitate a little bit coming down, but overall, it's pretty dang good. So if you are off a little bit, let me, I'm gonna readjust it a little bit so that we're off a little bit. So let's start, let's start rolling here. And there'll be, let me adjust it a little bit more. My bike is too good. Okay, so you can see there right now, it's just not quite wanting to go up. So what I would do is I would do the opposite of the come at me, bro. I would turn this way and just very slowly, I'm gonna see that it's gonna jump the gear. And then I wanna come back down. Can I come back down still? Yep, I can come back down. Can I go back up? Yep. So I'm gonna work my way all the way down. Made it all the way down. Now can I go all the way up? Okay, so we got a little bit of hesitation there. It doesn't want to come out. It doesn't want to go away. I we'll turn another quarter turn, and now it's smooth. Now I'm cross chained a little bit. If you're hearing a little bit of resistance, but essentially from that point, it's little bit of tweaks, and I'm talking eighth of a turn, quarter turn, to decide like whether the chain won't come at you or won't go away from you, and you just tweak and tweak and tweak, and you will get it and you will save the day if your bike is not shifting. So, from a guy who's ridden a bike across America, like, you have to be able to fix stuff on the road. And so if your bike isn't shifting, don't let it ruin your day. Adjust it.